In this video, we're gonna be sharing with you how you can lock down the trips tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and we upload videos every single day that can help you become a better offensive and a better defensive player in this game. All right, guys, so in this video, we're taking a, a really hard look at the trips tight end offense. We're going to ask the question, how can we actually learn how to stop this? And so the way we're going to be doing that is by utilizing our nickel 335 wide defensive guide. Now, if you have not already got my nickel 335 wide defensive guide, this is just an excerpt of it, a sampling of it, if you will. You can get the entire defensive guide in the description of this video for just $15, where we literally walk you through step by step how to shut down any and every offense that you're going to be facing in Madden 21. Now, for our zone drops of this scheme, we're going to be putting our flats on 30 yards, our curl flats on 10 yards, and our hook curls are going to be set to 5 yards. This is how we're going to start as we uh, line up a defense for this little uh, trips tight end offensive attack. Now, uh, really quickly here, we want to make sure that we have the Mike Blitz 3 set as our audible down from the nickel 335 wide. We're going to be shifting into that from the 335. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we can get the best personnel possible onto the field. We've subbed in line or safeties at the linebacker position at every linebacker position in this 335 wide. And so as we shift into this, that's what you're going to see. So we're gonna come out and what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna shift into Mike Blitz 3 just like this right here. Um, this is kind of the first step to defense. Now the second step to defense is we are gonna shift our line to the right and we're going to crash them out. Now, uh, first and foremost, you're gonna see one of the things that we absolutely have to be able to stop is this 45 quick base. This 45 quick base, in my opinion, is one of the best runs in the entire game. And so really, um, it's really, really simple to stop, but it's actually, you know, again, if you make one mistake, you can be gone. So what we wanna do is we wanna kind of position ourselves so that you see here the guard, if you look at the guard's feet, there's a little shadow underneath his feet, and there's also a little shadow underneath the tackle's feet. But you'll see if I move my user to the left just a little bit, you can see that the center and the guard and now have the shadows. If I'm standing right here, it's a lot harder to stop this run. You see there I got kind of lucky, but it is much, much harder to stop the run if you stand there as opposed to if you stand in between the guard and the tackle. So what you want to do is you want to stand behind the guard, but you want to be to the right of him so that the tackle has a shadow underneath him, not so that the other side does okay so that's the first step and what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball if we see a run we're just going to run right through just like that and as you can see we can wrap it up relatively easily you don't want to do and i've talked about this before whenever you're facing a run like a 45 quick base or a tougher run to stop you want to run down and then inside you don't want to run inside first you want to run down let the guard kind of go and then you want to come in and swoop in and take it away with your user so that's my best piece of advice for how to stop this run. This is one of the better runs in the entire game. Another thing that I'd recommend is once you kind of have yourself into the position where he's gonna be able to make a tackle, you wanna just go ahead. I will. I would recommend that you just click off. So if I run like right through here, then I'm just clicking off and letting the computer make the tackle. I don't wanna to try to like mess around with it because the stop and go is for real this year. And if you're not careful, um, the stop and go will kill you, it'll eat you alive. So that's kind of one little tip with that. But anyways, um, so I shift over to the Mike Blitz 3. That's my run defense. The next thing I need to do is I need to be able to stop the majority of the kind of passes that people are going to do when they're in trips tight end. And so the way that I like to do this is I actually like to play essentially cover two on one side and cover four on another side. So you're going to see here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my left of screen outside corner into an outside quarter, my left of screen safety into an inside quarter, just like this right here. And then on this right side, I'm actually going to create a cover two defense so what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, right side safety into an inside quarter and we're going to put the right side corner into a cloud flat just like this right here and then the last thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to put my defensive end on the right side into a three rack i'm going to put my linebacker into a seam flat and then this guy right here is kind of a hybrid you can do whatever you want uh, most of the time what I'm going to end up doing is putting both linebackers in seam flats and playing basically a Mabel coverage with my user responsibility being, you know, kind of this left intermediate middle area. Now, you notice that I said that I was going to be playing a cover two defense, 
but I didn't put this guy on the right into a deep half. The reason why I didn't put him into a deep half is because when the when the trips tight in offense is set, is set like this right here, there's no reason to have a deep half on that side of the field because there's nothing that they can do to bomb you on that side of the field unless they motion somebody across. So an inside quarter is perfectly fine, and it's going to help you you know play crossing routes. It'll play the tight end. It'll play the tight end streak a lot better than a deep half would. So you literally don't have to worry about the tight end whatsoever. Um, in fact, if we go to a play like if we go to a play like um, curl flag which I actually think I came out in that. So let me reset my play. We're going to go to that, uh, that Mike, Blitz, Mike Blitz 3. So again, we're going to shift our D-line to the right, put our right of screen defensive end into a bluff blitz. We're going to shade our coverage down just like this. And then we're going to create this cover, kind of cover six style defense right here. Now, if they run this route from curl flat with the tight end corner, you're going to see that we're going to be in a pretty darn good position to stop that. Right there, they did make a catch but we're in a good position to be able to defend that, that route. Another reason why I really like this setup is uh, one, of the other, one of the other plays that is really, really popular uh, to run from this is the curl flat. What they're gonna do is they're gonna streak the tight end. Um, and the beauty of these 30 yard, uh, 30 yard little cloud flat type zones is if they try to throw that route, Jair Alexander is gonna play that all day long. That's gonna be a pick city. They're not gonna be able to throw routes like that. So you can pretty much say goodbye to crossing routes and corner routes and all of those above type of routes. Now the next type of route that I wanna talk about and wanna to shift to is I wanna specifically spend a little bit of time um, talking a little bit about what do you do, uh, what, what do you do whenever you need to, you know, obviously worry about a deep vertical route on the right side? Well, here's what I would recommend. So when, when they start to motion people, that's actually a good sign. That means that, you know, you're gonna be able to defend them in a little bit more of a traditional way. Um, and so when they start to motion people a lot, what you wanna do, so you have your base setup just like this right here. So if they motion the triangle receiver, all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put the X corner X guy right here into a little bit of a deep half. And then my job is kind of just play right in this area right here. If they throw over the middle, you know, that's really my responsibility. As you can see, the defense really taking away the middle of the field. The reason I like this is because it takes away a lot of the bombs, a lot of the, the, the meta style of stuff that people can run. Um, an example might be something like this. If they're really trying to, to hit you vertically, um, this is a setup I don't think that is actually too uncommon for people. And I just want to show you how this works uh, specifically against this defense. So again, we're going to put our, our cover four uh, kind of base defense. And you can do this from cover four if you want to. The reason I like Mike Blitz 3 is just because it allows me to uh, have a, you know, kind of a predictable pattern of adjustments. But anyways, if they motion over the triangle receiver on a fade and you put this guy at a deep half, you, you, you have that 30 yard cloud flat and you have a deep half and it's on the short side of the field. All of those things working together are not good for the offense. As you see, they try to bomb you on either side. You're going to be in a pretty good position uh, to be able to handle that. So that's another nice uh, little element of this. If they're running trips to the wide side of the field, which is very common, which is pretty much what everyone's going to do, you don't have to put a deep half out there unless they force you to. You don't have to put a deep half out there unless they force you to. That's really, really important. Um, okay, so the last thing is like a traditional flood to the trip side. So if they run a traditional flood uh, to the trip side, just want to show you kind of what this looks like here. Uh, you're going to be in a pretty good position. You're going to see here that the circle receiver is going to be running into two or three different defenders, and you're going to be able to take that away. So you've now taken away the uh, the short side flood, the wide side flood. You've also taken away a lot of the deep bomb type of things with the streaks and things like that. And so that is why this is the best way to defend trips tight end. If you want to learn my entire 335 wide defensive guide that will walk you step by step through how to defend every major formation that you're going to face in weekend league or in money games, you can get that in the description of this video for just 15 bucks. It's by far the best defense in the game, and you can learn it exactly the way that I would recommend running it right now for just 15 bucks. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video, and I want to thank you for watching this video. Thanks a lot, and if you want to get the guide, it is in the description.